everyone, my name is Evan. I'm a member of the care team here at Sawgrass, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through all of the settings in Print Manager. So to get started here, whenever you go to print, this Print Manager window should always open. If this window does not open, you're not using our color profiles and you may end up in uh, using more ink than what you need to in order to complete a particular job. So, when you open Print Manager, you're always gonna start on the Material tab. Um, this tab is really more or less just telling the printer what it is you're actually making. Um, we always start with the substrate. Selecting your substrate is one of the most important things that you could ever do in Print Manager, as this is going to directly tell the printer how much ink to put down onto your page per substrate that you are using. So for example, the metal setting is going to use a different amount of ink than that of the polyester setting. And same with the ceramic mug and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna select mine as polyester. Um, now for print quality, high quality is always a safe bet. High speed is more if you need to do 20 jobs in 20 minutes. Um, high quality really is just kind of the standard way to go to make sure that your quality of print is going to be the best that it possibly can. Um, now as for the paper settings here, these are all the papers that we have tested here in house. If you ever using a paper that isn't on this list, that is totally fine. A safe bet would always just to keep it on TruePix Classic, as that is the Sawgrass brand. But if you are using a text printer, I would recommend selecting that. Or if you have one that is listed here, go ahead and select it, as it kind of more helps with the weight of the paper, as that can affect some of your print settings. Um, as for the source, this is just telling the printer where to pull the paper from, so if you only have one tray, then it's just gonna stay on tray one. Um, now this mirror button here, this is gonna be automatically checked each and every time the print manager opens. The two times here that you'll want to manually uncheck this button is when you are sublimating using heat transfer vinyl or when you are using glass. Every other time, you'll just wanna keep that button automatically checked. Um, so next we have the layout tab. Um, this is going to help the print manager kind of orient where your design is going to go onto your page. Um, you can preserve layout from designer. Um, this is just going to preserve the actual page layout that you have if you're using a different creative software. Like if you're using Creative Studio, it'll just preserve the layout that you have from there. If you're using Photoshop, it'll preserve from there. Um, same for Silhouette, Cricut, etc. Um, I usually let my print manager perform the layout for me, as this is going to directly show how big my design is going to be onto my page, so if I need to make any last minute sizing changes in my design software, I'll be able to check that here. Um, so when you let the print manager perform layout, all of these bottom settings will allow you to, uh, to play with them. So if you're using a, a larger page size than that of uh, the US letter 8.5 by 11, you can change that here. Um, since I'm using the 500 model, the largest page that I can use is 8.5 by 14 as I don't have a bypass tray. Um, so I'm going to keep mine on 8.5 by 11, that's where you would change your page size. Spacing and inches I will come back to as that's more related to the jobs tab. Um, trim white space is just going to crop any white space around your designs. Um, centering it is going to center it onto your page. Lead lines is just going to put a black border around your image, so if you need any extra help trying to orient it onto maybe a shirt or a hoodie or onto a mug or a substrate or some, some type of substrate, it's just going to help you see it from the back when it's laying face down onto your substrate. Um, impose margins is going to keep your designs from entering into the page margins, um, so here if I uncheck those, Sometimes your image can end up being cut off in certain areas. Um, so impose margins really is going to preserve your image. So I'm gonna center it and I'm gonna keep impose margins on. Now for the jobs tab here, this is where you can do some last minute um, tuning to your size. However, this is a full disclaimer here. If you need to make something bigger, do that in your creative software. You don't wanna do that here in Print Manager, as it, what it essentially is doing is it's either going to stretch or it's going to compress the pixels per inch. So for example here, my width is 5.2 and my height is uh, 4.1. If I wanted to change this to say 6.5, notice that it will make it bigger, but my pixels per inch is going to vastly decrease. 
So essentially it's just stretching those pixels so it's lowering the overall quality of my image. So uh, now this is a, a low resolution image that I'm using here. A solid pixels per inch to shoot for is a 300. That tends to be my happy medium that I, uh, I go for quality for. However, if you are using a higher quality camera, like maybe it's someone's wedding photo or retirement party photo, or even just that wonderful photo of your pet, um, you can get up north of 600 to 900 pixels per inch, and that is dependent on the camera that is used to capture the photo. Uh, but for graphic art and graphic design stuff, 300 is a solid place to begin. Additionally, here in the Jobs tab, if you need to make multiple copies of something, you can do that here. Um, so we can increase the number of copies and it'll put it right here on the same page. So that is actually related back on the Layout tab with the spacing. So if I increase my spacing here, it's just going to put those two images farther from one another so that way I can better cut them out and put them on their respective substrate. So it was already at 0.4. If I just change that to zero, then it is going to put them right next to one another so there's no space in between. Um, so that can help if you need like specific tiling for a particular image, if you need to uh, maybe like a jigsaw puzzle or something like that, um, then you can keep the spacing at zero. Now back to the jobs tab here, we're going to make our copies back to one. Um, you can add multiple jobs to the print manager so that way you can print out more images on one page and you would do that here with the plus and minus button. So I'm going to click the plus button here and I'm going to add a file and I see this little hedgehog one here, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on that and open it. And so here, because they both fit on the same page, it's going to put it onto one page. If it didn't fit on one page, then it would put it onto a second page for me automatically. Here with this hedgehog, um, you can swap in between your two jobs by clicking on them, um, and you can increase the number of quantities, or number of copies, rather, uh, as needed. So lastly here we have the color tab. Um, so this color tab is more or less down to personal preference than anything else, um, especially here with these color adjustments. Um, you can adjust the overall hue, kind of give something a, a bit of a glow effect if needed. So say I change that numerically or uh, drag and drop to 23 in red, it's going to make my image appear more red. Um, I can change the pink and get more pink than green, and it's just going to overall change the colors um, that are used in the photo. Um, if you need to reset, this reset button will just make everything back to zero, um, but you can also change the contrast, the brightness, and the saturation here with color adjustments. Again, the best advice anyone could give you here would just be to play with it. Everyone likes something a little bit different for their designs and images. Uh, but as for the color modes here, you do see two options, photographic and vivid. Now photographic is pretty much what it sounds like. You'll want to use that for actual photographs, uh, pictures of loved ones, pets, dogs, beaches, sunsets, anything nature has to offer. Photographic is going to help differentiate those shades from one another to help make them better pop out in your image. Um, now vivid, on the other hand, this is what most people will use for their graphic art and graphic design as this is going to help saturate your colors a bit more and just make them more vibrant overall. Now that is to say that is again up to personal preference. Um, some people like the way Vivid makes their photographs look and some people like the way photographic makes their, their images look, so it is up to personal preference there. So lastly here with the other tab, so this is going to save all of your settings in Print Manager and it's going to make a file known as a PRN file. Um, so if we click on that, it's going to ask you where you want to save the PRN and this way you can actually email friends who also have a Sawgrass machine your files with your settings so that way they can print out your jobs and put them on GIFs. Alright, so I am ready to print. Thank you so much and take care. See you in the next one.